Hey there, what's going on? This video, I just wanted to talk briefly about combining lists. So similar to how we can use the plus for math, or we can use the plus to concatenate, we can also use the plus to combine lists. It's very simple. So, Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So we'll just do this within a print. So we can take my favorite things and add my least favorite things, which I guess I should put underscore things to keep things consistent. However, not a huge deal. So running this, we get one giant list right here. And I just put JavaScript in there just to start some fighting in the comments. So let me know if JavaScript is the worst thing in existence. We could do something like this to add an element to a list. So for example, we could say least favorite things is assigned least favorite things plus, I can't think of anything else I hate. Editing, definitely the worst task in existence. And then when we are done with this, we will just print least favorite things. And running this, you can see we get onions, JavaScript, and editing. Now there's also a method that you could use instead of doing this technique, just to make your life a little bit easier. And that is going to be least favorite things dot append, and then you just pass in the data editing. So just showing that there's various ways of doing things, but I would stick to the append method. It's probably the best way to do it and it works exactly the same in terms of output. There's also stuff we can do to insert at the beginning of the list or in the middle of the list, but these are more advanced things and we'll probably get into that later in this series or in my next Python series. So stay tuned for upcoming content. That's summing up our introduction to lists. The next video we're gonna do some review and just make sure we got everything nice and square in our brain. Uh, I don't know if that's the right expression or not, but we're going to make sure we understand things. So stay tuned and I'll see you then.